Box tanking. Have a blinking high level light. You are go. Water systems. Go. Range operations. Mercury capsule. Go. Godspeed, John Glenn. Historic sites where U.S. manned spaceflight took its first step for the stars are now in danger of becoming history. You can see, for example, that cross beam there. You can see the extent of the corrosion. We also have holes in some of the other I-beams here the size of coffee cans or larger. Invasive plant species and the corrosive natural environment at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, threaten the existence of these national historic landmarks. One of my main concerns is if we don't get this stabilized, and get a project in with you know, good funding to get this stabilized better, we have a category three hurricane or larger, this is gonna go down. Now, a partnership between Cape Canaveral and the Alliance for Integrated Spatial Technologies at the University of South Florida offers hope. 3D laser scanning. So what we're essentially doing is um, we're taking a surveying instrument that's essentially on a tripod based or a static based instrument and we actually are moving around through different setups, objects or landscapes in this case, um, and we're collecting actually measured points which are collected at such a rate that you're actually collecting millions of those every revolution of the scanner. Millions of data points mean a 3D laser scan can provide sub-millimeter accuracy, far more detail than any photograph or as-built drawing, all captured within a fraction of the time of previous methods. We're able to do one project like this and capture several different launch complexes and facilities that are National Historic Landmarks uh, in one project in a matter of days or weeks, whereas it would take by the traditional means of, of field documentation and drawings and, and traditional surveying methods would take months if not years to do the same and would cost tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars versus one very effective project. Each scan documents the condition of the historic landmarks and gives Cape Canaveral's cultural resource manager the data to plan and develop preservation strategies. So over a five year period, we're gonna track the rate of degradation of these complexes. So then when it comes time to stabilize and design the stabilization of these complexes, we can take that data and mitigate it the best way possible. The Air Force will also use 3D laser scanning to document other historical sites at Cape Canaveral, as well as many of the artifacts housed on base, providing a digital record for generations to come people eventually in the future are going to be able to take virtual tours. So it's going to give back as public education, public, good public relations, and as a teaching tool. But more importantly, it is showing that the Air Force is a good steward of the past, that we're doing everything we can and we're keeping up with the latest technology to document these historic resources and to mitigate any damage or any degradation of these complexes.